So you wake up in the morning and it's time to dive into Call of Dragons. Today in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my daily grind, what I do every single day inside of the game so I can make sure that I am prepared to be fruitful. So I'm ready to take on the enemy. And so I'm ready to help my alliance inside of the game and basically be the best player in Call of Dragons as I could possibly be. What is up my friends? My name is Echo and some of the things inside of this video are going to be very normal, very everyday-ish and other things may be a little bit more out there. So. Stay Stick along so you can see each and every one of them. But the first thing that I'll do in the morning, and I actually did some of these already if I'm being transparent, is I make sure that my troops are training and if they're ready to be collected, I'll collect my troops and get new troops training right off the bat. That's number one. Then I will do the same thing with research. I want to make sure that my research is never stagnant. I always want it to be moving because you don't want to slow down with your research. It takes a long time to get through all of these trees. And if you don't keep on top of things, you're not going to be able to keep up. So make sure that your research is always going. In addition to that, I'm always going to want to make sure that I don't have any buildings that are sitting there. I want to make sure that both of my builders, yes, that's right, I've purchased the second builder. You want to make sure that both of your builders are working. So right now, I have one working in the refinery, and I believe another one, yes, is working right there on my wall because we're ready to go up to City Hall level 18 next. So make sure that your workers are working, your research is researching, and your barracks are creating truth. Three easy things that are the essential beginnings, the things that you have to do right away. Next thing I like to do is, first of all, I scroll out on the map. I wanna look for any markers that my alliance may have laid down, things that I need to know are happening. So I see right here, oh, we have some mana. I can go farm some mana. Actually, oh yes, we do. I can go farm some mana. It's actually almost gone. So I'm not gonna hike over there. But if there's a resource depot, a nice big one like this, I like to call it a resource depot. I like to go for it right away. Put one of my biggest gatherers on it and just let them gather whatever that resource is. Other farmers and gatherers, I'll just send them out to something that's close by, something that I may need. And uh, just because you wanna always be collecting resources. So let me go do that right now. Also, it's a good idea to send your gatherers out on your own resources in your own territory. It's never a good idea to gather on someone's territory. You will most likely find yourself being uh, attacked and taken off their land. So make sure you farm your own territory. And it also is for a quicker gathering speed. Next up, give helps. Make sure you help everyone out all the time not just once a day when you log in. All right, next up, I wanna check on my membership. Typically, you get yourself a membership that you can claim. I'm a membership level eight right now. We are going to claim the rewards from that. Right off the bat, you never wanna forget them. And I am a sucker for red dots. If I see red dots, I have to click on them. So when you look at the screen right now, there are red dots everywhere. I try and clean up all of my red dots. I'm telling you because I've been playing on PC, it makes my hand hurt from how often I'm clicking on things inside of the game throughout the entire day, but red dots are important. So we're gonna get to these ones actually in a moment, but notice next with these red dots, we have some daily deals that may come through. So we have a daily deal right here, which I do purchase this. So I will be doing that off camera, but I pick this up every single day. $2.99 is gonna get me a whole bunch of gems it's helpful and it helps with my gem reserves. It's only three bucks a day. My monthly packs, I also am going to collect because I purchase these monthly and I collect them daily. Keeps you logging in and gets those rewards, those sweet and juicy rewards every single day. Now, when I come down here to the bottom, I will notice that when you come to your Alliance tab here, first of all, territory, always claim your resources because those are absolutely free for you, but gifts. Man, at least in my alliance, there are a ton of gifts. What do, I, I can't even count the number that I have right here right now. So we are just going to click like crazy and get all of these. So pardon me while I collect all of my gifts. Wow. I would say that was about 150 gifts. Now you have to always remember the golden chests can give, you, can give you some really great rewards. Make sure you don't miss out on them. Then come on over here, claim all these other things that came through, and of course your big chest if it's all ready to go. Lots of rewards to claim inside of Call of Dragons. Also make sure you donate to technology for your alliance. It's gonna help your alliance, it's gonna help you, and it's just being a good alliance mates and then when you notice helps you're going to just drop a help again these are all very surface things to do very 
easy things that you just you log in and they're kind of your morning grind. Notice also here we have some chests to open. These are the free ones that you could open once a day. You get five, actually you get five of the silvers and you get one free gold chest or a golden key every single day. And of course, my luck continues here in the channel. This channel is becoming known as one of the worst luck for opening chests and spinning wheels in all of Call of Dragons. Now, I'm saving, actually, I'm saving my golden chests for an event when you can get rewarded for opening up golden chests. I'll save them. We're sitting on 45 right now, which I am quite happy with. But now we want to see what events, what's going on inside of the game today. Looks like there's a Behemoth Hunter event going on for the Giant. Lucky Spin again. Spent 30,000 gems on this thing and I only got our two, uh, what was it? Canara up to 2111 sad maybe our free spin will be good because i'm not spending any more tokens on her oh look at that we got one well isn't that nice best luck i've had breaking through is still going on darkness rises uh well this is just um taking down forts how much time is left on this one we got a day i only got to get two more forts taken down that'll be good and i'll be getting the rewards so you these are great ways to get free rewards inside of the game just be up to date and know what's happening know what events are going on so it'll kind of direct you in the direction of what activities you should be participating in inside of the game for that day to get the enhanced rewards this is another this has two more days left on it easy stuff gather ore, wood gold and gather total resources that'll be easy now we have the strongest lord gain resources today is a resource gaining day and as you could tell Looks like my gatherers, they brought in all the resources needed. I already completed this for the rewards. Now, am I gonna push this to get ranked and to try and get stuff for my ranking? Yeah, probably not. I'm probably not gonna go too crazy with that because, well, I'm not gonna be top 10 and getting anything spectacular. So we don't worry about that too much. And the great halls, this is just upgrading your city hall or great hall or whatever kind of hall you wanna call it because this isn't Rise of Kingdoms. It's Call of Dragons. All right, now I do have one of my gatherers out. I'm gonna utilize his art artifact, and then he'll be returning home with a full load of resources. Now you always wanna use your CP every single day, and you're wondering, Echo, what is CP? Well, CP is your basic CP recovery. It's like the combat points. Is that even what they're called? I think it may be called combat points. Well, would you look at that? You want to use your CP. As you can see, I've been pretty in a bit of a CP drought, so I'm still replenishing my CP. But um, if you're full, you always want to use some. You don't want to let that waste. You want to use it, let it refresh itself so that you're always getting rewards for going after Darklings or doing any other battle type events inside of the game. Now, it's always a good idea to check in on your Dragon Trail as well. This is something I will awful also sometimes neglect. Also remember, you do get one free one as well. Make sure you, you claim your free one for a day. It's gonna give you some extra rewards, but make sure you try to progress a little bit on your Dragon Trail challenge, and um, I'm gonna do one right now. Looks like we have a fair fight. Let's just see if we can bring this one in and pull in a win on the Dragon Trail for you guys. The battle has begun. We're going pretty basic right here, all attacking the front, and then we can change things up as we go. Um, I don't know, this is actually the first time I'm ever doing this and having a fourth march available. So we've unlocked that, I think, as we pass through level 50. And I'm gonna just try and drop as much damage on these guys as I can. We do have the poison bomb, which we're gonna use right here, boom. We have some health, which I'm gonna drop on everyone right here, boom. And that's all, because my other ones don't have things that I could actually use right now. Um, I also am really focusing on just getting one star at least. I don't need to go ahead and get all four or all three. I just want to at least grab one. We're going to go take him down. I'm actually making mistakes right here. Gordo's about to go down. No, Gordo, don't go down. Is he going to? Oh, I think so. He survived, actually. Would you look at that? Now we have to go take down one more. We will complete this, which will be fantastic. We are down to two stars, though. It's okay. Gordo, we lost him. We lost him in battle. But you want to progress this because it's going to give you rewards and it's going to allow you to upgrade something that I didn't mention, which I'll mention in just a moment. But let's see if we can get in this victory first. Wow, it's actually really low. We are we're struggling hardcore right now. Oh, no. 
Wow, I did not expect this to be as tight as this is right here. We won. It was a difficult one, but we won. I also used no mechanics at all. I literally just attacked. So we get our loot. Remember, these replenish your loot every single day, and you're going to basically spend those things on your enact right here, your notice board, and you can kind of upgrade this stuff along the way. And we're actually doing a nice job trying to get over here to military expansion. Always remember to ask for your alliance help as well as you work on your policies or any upgrades that you can do inside of the game. I also come over to the Goblin Merchant and I typically buy everything that gives me resources for less resources. So here I'm getting a 20% buff or negative 20% on the exchange. So I'm, I'm making out on the exchange. So I'm gonna buy that. I never buy anything with gems and I don't suggest you should either. But here I'm gonna save 20% save 20% such a deal you know we got to grab it and then we get out of there that's basically it for the really easy stuff but you want to really know what's going on with your alliance and this is the next level stuff inside of Call of Dragons you want to know what's going on when battles are happening if you're going to be going after any behemoths inside of the game if there's a war that's coming if your alliance mates need help with something if any structures are being built on the map you may want to participate if any flags are being burned on the map you're going to want to help out because this is not a solo game call of dragons is very much so a game of community if you're in it for yourself it's really probably not the right game for you you're gonna want to have what you're gonna have to and you should want to participate with a whole bunch of people on a bigger project than just you upgrading your base now as we look at the map i told you to look for some of these uh these markers that are there now notice what i found right here a research mana stone when you're in a good alliance like i am we are in the blood moon alliance people will target and they'll kind of point out where these good runes are these good mana stones we call them here research speed plus seven percent yes please and the cool thing about this game is they uh they last for a long time they last for eight hours versus in other titles that we've played in the past they could only last for two hours or four hours or less of time. So now eight hours, I know I'm gonna have that research speed. So whether I'm going to bed or not gonna be able to get to my phone or computer for a while to play, I can get my research going ham. And they do this for all other things as well, like your, your research, your training speed, your gathering speed, and your production speed as well. So as you can see, ah, Illusionist is with me here. Also grabbing some research mana stone very nice wise wise of them following my tips that they didn't know that my video came out yet but still now i'm gonna assume that you're newer inside of a kingdom and you're gonna want to have to clear some fog it's annoying to have to clear fog no one like is like yes i get to clear fog today but what i try and do is i try and send out a couple of explorers at least to start out and clean some fog up. I'll let them sit there for an hour. I make sure that I make I, that I keep them in that position. And if I recall, I'll have them go clear out some fog because there are great rewards that you can have from, from clearing out the fog. Oh, march over there, would you? And those rewards are things that I often hold off on picking up. I, it's just something else that I never get to. And they're right over here. You'll notice that you can come on over here, hit the telescope, and there are things for me to collect. We're gonna go to other, we're gonna visit, and there's things that you get for free because you found these spots in the world. These right here, oh my God. Do you actually try and follow this with your eyes? I did for the first time or two and realized that there's no heckin' way I'm gonna actually keep with it. So I just blind guess, and we get that a lot. It's basically 50-50 if you win or lose, but that's okay. I'm okay with it. Now, I like that they have this feature where it takes you to the next one, but I wish that this was like an auto feature inside of the game. I wish that I didn't have to click through all of these. It's a time-consuming click sequence that I would prefer to not have to do. There's other things I would rather do. All right, look, blind. Is it done? Seriously? literally known as the guy with the worst luck by the way if you missed my live stream yesterday we did a challenge inside of the game where we had to try and take down a um what was it an elite bear 750,000 health with only level one workhorses and with um 
Oh, I forget the commander we were using, the hero we were using. It was really fun. We failed drastically. Awfully. Awful fail. But we did go to war afterward. It was actually a night. It was actually a nice uh, live stream. You guys should go check it out if you missed it. Also, yesterday I put out a video that was giving you my whole story as to why I quit Rise of Kingdoms for Call of Dragons, which was more like a story of my life, if you want to know a little bit more about my whole professional life. All right, we've gotten defeat, defeat, huge defeat. Let's see if we can do any better this time because this is getting uh, a little pathetic, and then we'll just go back to the village. All right, we're going over here. I swear to God, guys. This is just sad sometimes. I'm trying to get your pity likes. That's what it is. All right, now we'll come back over here. You'll notice there are some rallies going on. So we've got some uh, Dark Ileana's army. We'll go at you. Can we join this bad boy? Yeah, we're going to join this up. We'll go in there with Gordo. Gordo was actually the hero that we were using in this workhorse challenge. Of course, guys, you're also going to want to always check your mail. See what your alliance has to say. As you can see here, this is a past event. But the event starts in 10 minutes. Send Ordo with workhorses only and be in a YouTube video. That was on my channel. That was a lot of fun. But either way, make sure you check your mail. Really, a lot of what you need to be prepared for is what your alliance is going to need you for. Are they having to protect your land? Are they having to defend themselves against an alliance that's incoming and trying to battle? Make sure that your gatherers are out, which I think I could actually probably send out another one right now if I can find a nice space to put them but don't put them on someone else's land. Now, something else I like to do is make sure that everything that's in my, my case, my box, my chest is all good. All of my artifacts are upgraded. And actually we can upgrade an artifact right here because this came when I opened up my game right now. And I was able to unlock that, which was the freebie. Very, very nice. All right, that's equipped. We also have some resources here. These were from either the chest that I was opening up when I got 150 of them earlier in the video. Uh, look at, wow, this is actually a lot. I could possibly get my uh, my membership up with this. And also from the monthly deals that I was that I purchased. We use this also, we always go for mana. Seems that that is our most needed all the time. And let's go see actually, very curious where I stand here. We are only 400 and, no. 4,875 away from the next level of VIP, VIP 9, or Honorary Membership Level 9. These are the essential things that you should be doing every day inside of the game. Keep your gatherers going, keep farming when you have CP, and make sure that you're in the know with your alliance. Make sure that you know what's going on for the events of the day so you don't miss out on opportunities, especially when there's a wheel or an opportunity to get yourself a new hero. It's definitely not something that you want to miss out on. A lot of times they don't return to the game, so you need to get them when the opportunity is there. And also say hi to your alliance mates. It's always good to have fun and just be be cool with people guys i hope you enjoyed this video i've had a lot of people that are brand new to the game obviously because the game is very new asking about a lot of these beginner tips how do you do these things what do you do throughout the day which is why a lot of the content lately has been for people that are just getting into the game obviously more high level stuff is incoming in the very near future i'm looking forward to that as well as i dive deeper into Call of Dragons, but for now, hope this one helped you out, guide you through your morning when you wake up and you're laying in bed and you don't even get out of bed before you start playing this game. I know you do that too. If you found this video useful, valuable, or entertaining in any way, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on my live streams later today, if I have any, or my videos that come out tomorrow. I'll see you guys then.